Hi everybody, welcome back to Cupid's Tarot. Whoop. Or um by Cupid. I always forget that I changed my channel name. But anyway, welcome back to Tarot with Cupid. I'm super excited to have you here. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season. Um, whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, I'm looking forward to the new year. Just really excited. Um to go into 2022 all of that so i hope you guys have something planned if not oh well <laughs> i don't even know what i'm trying to say but um yeah good vibes essentially i have been really really wanting to do a relationship reading ever since the last reading i did the naughty or nice but i never really know what to ask with these with the relationship questions because um, some of them can be so repetitive. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's part of what the polls are for. So I'm thinking I'll start using the polls primarily for relationship topics because it's hard for me to come up with them. But of course, if you guys do want me to ask like a specific type of question or do a specific type of reading, you're definitely welcome to drop suggestions in the comment section. Um, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, digress, right? I didn't mean to. But anyway, I really wanted to do a relationship reading um, since we're going into the new year. So I thought, why not do a what's the truth in this connection type of reading? I'm not sure how I'm going to title it right now. But essentially, we're going to be getting into the nitty gritty of this connection. What is the truth of it? What is the reality of it? What's happening for real, for real? No sugar coat. And we're going to get some advice for you on what to do in regards to the information that we receive. So, yeah, like I said, disclaimers, I am going to do my best to deliver the truth. And I'm going to be as honest as I feel called to be. Um, with what with the, with whatever information I receive, and so trigger warnings there, all around any type of trigger warning, right? The truth. Uh, also, all energies can be reversed, flip flopped, switched up. Really, it's up to you to take everything as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate at all, leave it alone. It's not for you. If it does resonate, then take it as such. And just um, allow the energy to flow. Um, I also want to say that just because we read tarot or we do tarot or receive information does not mean we have to really do anything with it. Um, a lot of times we think everything has to have this external type of purpose when a lot of times we can just receive and hold on to the information. We don't really need to do anything with it. So... I don't know, maybe that was something somebody needed to hear, but I just suddenly felt called to say that. But anyway, I hope all that made sense. Let's get into the groups. Um, and of course, after this, I will have an image of all three piles so that you can pause the video and meditate on which pile belongs to you, okay? So group one is going to be a sunstone. Group one is the sunstone. Group two is a carnelian. Group two is a carnelian. And group three is a sparkly orange one. I forgot what it's called, but it's sparkly and orange, like a burnt orange. Group three. Okay. So make sure to... Meditate <sighs> or which group belongs to you. All of my rings are timeless. You are welcome to pick more than one group. And I will see you guys at your reading. All timestamps for each group are in the description box below. Group one. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the sunstone. 
So, <clears throat> I'm just setting a timer. <laughs> so, I am here to get into the nitty gritty of this reading right now, group one. Um, I have a bit of time on my hands today, so I'm going to take my time with these readings. First, we're going to channel with the seashells about your connection, and then we'll get into the tarot, okay? Mm. Hmm. Sorry, I'm drinking my coffee. I didn't have any sugar, so I put whipped cream in it, and so far, <laughs> shit is good. It is delicious. All right, group one. Let's channel about your connection. I'm a little sick. Mm. This is very confusing. I'll just grab this one. There's another energy that was like me pulling me and I was trying to catch it, but it just, mm, it was like a redirection. It was like, mm, yeah, like trying to pull me away. Okay. Mm. I'm hearing an elephant. There's an elephant in the room. This is a big one. There is something here in this connection that somebody is avoiding. Mm. But I feel like whatever it is, you can't stop it now, right? Whatever it is, it can't be hidden any longer. Um, they can't avoid it anymore. Mm. it's like when something's flooding underneath you and you might not notice at first but then eventually the, eventually as the water rises your floor gets, starts to get a little soggy now your ankles are wet and I feel like that's what's happening now like your ankles are wet here with whatever this is it's starting to peek through the fabric of your connection this could be something that this could for some of you, this is something that probably happened before you guys got together. Um, and so it's not necessarily has to do with your connection, but it like heavily is influencing what's going on with y'all. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Oh my goodness. Somebody could make a mess. There's a mess here. Mm, I think that's enough for this group. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, guys. Um, you're just watching me develop a new skill. So... That's enough channeling for group one. We're going to get right into the tarot, but, but first, BRB. <clears throat> but let's get right into your tarot and see what's going on with your connection, group one. What's the T? Oh, that's what I'm going to name it. What's the T? Mm. 
Mm. What's the tea on this connection for good for a spirit? Mm. Temperance. Let's see in this connection. Over for him. Mm. Hmm. All right, so Queen of Cups. Mm. I see somebody here evaluating their next steps, right? Somebody evaluating what more they have to give. Um it seems like somebody um, is being asked to put themselves first here with this Nine of Pentacles. They're being asked to um, reevaluate where they're putting their efforts, reevaluate their resources, right? Their material world, right? They're basically being asked to. Um, Like, see if their material world and their immaterial world are, are aligning, right? Adding up and figuring out what needs to happen <clears throat> so that they can fill these gaps or get, make, the, make sure these needs are met, right? A means to an end comes to mind here. So somebody is trying to determine how they can make the ends meet, okay? Right. But in terms of this connection, I see somebody also evaluating where this relationship fits. Right? Can they can they continue to meet the needs required for this connection to work pretty much? I don't see any lack of love with this Queen of Cups here. I see somebody, especially at the Queen of Cups and the Temperance, I see somebody very thoughtful. Somebody, um, and this could be you, Group One, but I'm seeing somebody very thoughtful, very considerate, and they're just looking at this from a health perspective, right, or a holistic perspective, like, the overall greater good type perspective, like what's best for everyone? Because with this Queen of Cups, and then also I'm thinking about the Temperance, this person could have a problem or have had issues in the past of giving too much, not knowing when to stop giving or when things are over, um, and just overall boundaries, right? Issues with how much they extend themselves, and so they're at this point where they're wondering if they've extended too much how much more they can continue to extend and um it's like they're they're trying to figure out realistically can their needs also be met in this connection what else is going on with them you know what i'm saying can we get some clarifiers okay we have strength uh-huh yeah, I think this is you for the most part. But if it's not you, you know. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to figure out if their if their desires line up with their reality, right? If they're um you know, if their dreams, if they can afford their dreams, right? They're trying to look at both sides, the, the material and the immaterial, right? The dream and the reality. Mm, five of coins, yeah. <coughs> mm. 
King of Cups. Ooh, I love this. I'm seeing... Um, I'm really seeing somebody looking at the cards they've been dealt, <laughs> kind of like we are here, and strategizing how to get to that point, place that they want to be, right? I'm seeing this Nine of Pentacles as very grounded. Like, that is the reality. That's them looking at their, their checkbook or their their budget spreadsheet or whatever. Them looking at their assets, looking at what they do have and comparing it to what they need. This is somebody sitting down being very realistic. Uh, and then with this Five of Coins beneath it, I'm seeing the reality is that there is not enough right now. Something is lacking, right? And I don't see any de self-deprecating energy. I'm not seeing some self-piteous energy. I'm seeing it's a matter-of-fact kind of assessment. With this page of wands, clarified by this ten of cups, it's kind of like somebody saying, like, what do I got to do to get to what I want, right? What do I got to do, right? Because to me, wands are about action. It's about acting, okay? Putting shit into motion, and so, and the page is like that beginning step, that that first step on that long journey. Um, and so it's kind of like, what do I got to do? Where do I got to go? Just point me in the direction so I can get to this Ten of Cups. Now, seeing this King of Cups and the Queen of Cups out with this Ten of Cups, I see two people making, doing this at the same time. They're either doing this together or separately, they're both assessing the relationship in the same way, right? Like, you guys don't even know. Like, if y'all aren't if y'all aren't assessing together, like, sitting down, and then I would say y'all both don't even know that you're both thinking about the longevity of this connection at the same time in the same way. You're both thinking about the long term together. When I see this Ten of Cups, I see that both of you here want this together. You want to have a family. You want to get married. You want to have kids. You want to have the house. Like it's like you both have decided on each other, but right. But it's like now you're both determined, right? With this temperance and the strength, this is about determination. This is about dedication to me. These are this is symbolizing commitment, being committed to working through your problems, being committed to. Um, compromising and meeting each other halfway and going with the flow and you know what I'm saying both of you could be very similar as well um or just similar ways of handling things similar um ways of looking at life but it's like you're both very determined here to figure out how to bring this into fruition and step one is of course or, and it looks like you've already done that, is assessing what do you have versus what do you not have? Do you have enough? Right now, it looks like you both feel like you don't have enough. But, and this doesn't have to be literally for a kid or whatever, but it's like, this could be also maybe you don't feel ready yet. You know that you both want this, but you don't feel ready yet, right? Maybe that could be higher commitment and not necessarily kids, just like getting married, Um and that type of thing. It's like you both feel like maybe your careers aren't where you want them to be yet. Or you're not, you just don't feel ready. And that's why you're here depicted as this night, I mean this page of wands. You're still, oh, it's like you still feel like you're in the beginning part of this journey. Both of you. Mm, we have king of cups again. Mmm. Both of you could be water signs for sure, but you don't have to be. Fire is very prevalent here as well. Oh, too many cards.
got it. Mmm, the fool. Ooh, I, I love that. The way that came off to me, I love that. Both of you are very, <laughs> and we have the moon here. So I feel like, first of all, let's address this moon. This to me is saying that you both are not talking about this together. You both are separately thinking about the same thing for a lot of you, right? And maybe in different ways, it may be manifesting in different ways in your mind, but both of you are pretty much on the same page. You just don't know it. Okay, but let me tell you the reason why I laughed when this fool came out is because I heard that song, you know, from Tangled. When will my life begin? Sorry if that was flat, but <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like in the beginning of the movie, she she's already lived 18 years, but she's still waiting for her life to begin. She's waiting for this thing to happen that's going to set be the start of her life. And I feel like that's how both of you feel. To, in re, I feel like that's how both of you feel in regards to um, being able to elevate whatever this is that you have, right? Whether that's to get engaged or get married or have kids or buy the house or whatever it is that's here, it's like, you both are waiting for that thing to happen, for your life to begin. This life that you picture that you'll have or that you'll both have once you've reached this milestone, right? And so it's like y'all both are dreaming of this full moment of like, like, you know, finally getting this Ten of Cups and being able to step out and, you know, live the dream life that, you, that you've created. And so that's why y'all are both here at this page of wands. Like, how do I get there? I'm not anything. What? How can I point me in the direction so I can get what I need to get, right? That's your, that's both of y'all's, um, it looks like your, your, um, I would say like Mars energy. I'm not an astrologer. I'm learning right now. <laughs> so feel free to correct me or whatever in the comments. But I would say this is more like your Mars energy being represented here through this, um, page of wands like y'all are ready to move you're ready to move you're ready to go you're motivated you just don't really have direction and you're open like I feel like y'all are open to the direction to go but it's like I'm getting ants in the pants kind of energy like I'm ready to go I'm ready to go because I'm thinking about when my life's gonna begin with you and I think it's very romantic I think it's very beautiful and sweet with this king of cups though I think this is very interesting because to me, it's like this King of Cups, I feel like if this, if you're not the King of Cups, if you're the Queen of Cups, this King of Cups, it's like they chose you. They chose you. They see you as their counterpart. They see you as their other half. And it's like, it's like they wouldn't have it any other way. Um, when they see the future, they see it with you next to them is what I'm getting. And I'm also seeing somebody determined to make it work with you. I'm seeing somebody determined to always find ways to fit you in their life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now this hermit. This hermit, I feel like this is... Um, also, well, I mean, this is the current energy, like what's going on. This whole reading is current energy. But I guess I'm trying to say, like, the way I'm looking at this hermit, it's kind of like where your mind is at. Both of your minds are in hermit mode. You're planning and strategizing. You're looking at your situation because it's like, like I said, with this page of wands, you're ready to go, but you don't have a direction. And so this, this hermit energy is both of you, like I said, assessing what's happening, like assessing the reality to determine the next steps. I think that's very um, interesting. I mean, I really feel like because it's like y'all are both moving in tandem. You guys are very, very similar, or at least you're very, very on the same page with each other. Um, you guys might have really good communication. 
Um, I'm seeing lots of emotional and mental compatibility between both of you. Um, yeah, for real. Like, and this whole column is um, earth energy. So I just feel like, like I was like, both of you are looking at this from a very realistic perspective, very grounded. Okay. Despite it's like your emotions are there, your passions are there and you're ready to go. You're ready to move, but Hmm. I'm sorry. I was looking at the seashell. There's something somebody's not saying. Maybe this is what you guys are not saying to each other. Maybe you both are ready for this to progress and you're both assessing um, how possible it is. You're assessing the problems, but you're not speaking about this with each other. Um, some of one of one of you or both of you may have something that you want to say about the connection that you feel is really important, or that concerns you, or uh, makes you worry about the longevity. Or there's something here that you've that you've come across mentally while assessing the relationship that you want to tell you or your person but it's like hmm maybe you feel like you need to wait for the right time to t to say this or maybe i don't know there's some type of insecurity around being open about this connection and where it's going but both of you are on the same page thinking about it like both of you it seems like y'all are already like if i if y'all aren't like okay like whoever this is the way i see it you and this person are already in a relationship right this is a serious relationship this is like and if you're not already boyfriend and girlfriend at least you still, it could still almost seem like that, you know what I'm saying? But for a lot of you, you're already at least, you know, dating officially and moving into engagement, kids, moving together, living together, marriage type of territory. That's what I'm getting. Like, this is serious energy, okay? But let's get some overall advice for... Group one in regards to this connection. Overall advice. Ooh, the Oracle. Mm, the Lighthouse. Aww. Ah. I'm just getting a sense of like having trust and faith, right? Because there's this this strength here, and so I'm kind of relating that here with the oracle, like um, you know, having trust that you're always the answers will always come, or things will always work themselves out. That you're guided and you're protected, trusting your intuition, trusting your growth, right? Trusting the things that you've learned over over time. And, you know, when you apply what you've learned, trusting that you have the best intentions. And having this lighthouse here at the bottom of the deck, I don't know if you can see it, group one, but this lighthouse at the bottom of the deck, this is about home, I feel like. This is about always having somebody to come home to, always having somebody to rely on, somebody to tell your secrets to. Um, yeah. Sorry, I got a text message, but um, yeah, like, you'll always have somebody look out for you, you know? And I think there's, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like there's a bit of worry here on both of your ends about,
Oh, my bad. Let's see. I got distracted again, guys. But, um, oh, yeah, it's like both of you have this worry at the same time um, that something can get in the way of you guys getting to this Ten of Cups goal, right? Because you haven't really, you feel like you still haven't gone on the journey yet. It's like, or, or you're still, you're on this journey, but you're afraid that if it takes too long or whatever, then something can get in the way of this. And that's why you both are um, very focused on the strategy and the, you know what I'm saying? Because you're both very serious about the outcome because you want to be here. But I feel like it's all, the advice is also to remember that as long as you both don't want to go anywhere, you won't go anywhere. You're, you're going to be there for each other, okay? Um, along as you guys continue to work on yourselves while progressing this relationship. Because I feel like with this temperance, that's what this really is about. It's about um, learning how to work on yourself while also being in a serious relationship with each other. And I feel like for many of you, you're young too. And so it's like, it's that element of being young and having your life ahead of you and having so much to learn while also feeling like you found that person that you want to build and grow with. And so you have to kind of juggle those things of I'm still learning, I'm still growing. Am I even ready um, for that type of commitment mentally? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's your advice, group one. I really, really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. I hope you were able to find some type of guidance or clarity. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell. Last but not least, I am open for private readings. So if you would like to book with me, you can do that by using the link in the description box below. Bye, group one. Hey, group two. You've chosen this carnelian, group two. Of course, we are going to start by we're going to start by getting some channeled messages from we're going to start by getting some channeled messages from my seashells Okay, this is the one. Group two, you've chosen this one. Mm. Let me tell you something. Something's missing from this connection. There's something big chunked out of it. Knocked off. So this could be something was either lost or something... Um, was never there to begin with. You're starting to see the holes in this connection, the ways it's not fulfilling, okay? I feel like some of you, something was lost, um, and it has to do with perception. How you saw your person or how you saw this connection changed because something was revealed to you Something was revealed to you about this person and it's changed how you view them. Yeah, it's changed how you view them. Um, I'm also seeing like you can see right through them or somebody can see right through somebody, right? Maybe you learned about a lie or some type of dishonesty and it's changed it's like you see them now even more clearly than before 
but it also it bit off a big chunk of what made your relationship good right some so something was lost here hmm I feel like for some of you, you haven't really been together with this person for that long. Yeah. For some of you, you haven't been together that long, like less than a year. For others of you, you may have been with this person for a long time, but it was on and off. So like a lot of chunks, like breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together, that type of thing. Very chunky type of relationship. But not like a continuous long length of time. Um, I'd be wondering how often, like how common that is though. To be with somebody for a long time and never break up or get back together. You know, how prevalent is that? Or how likely? But that's enough messages, channel messages for group two. Or like things going on in your connection. If none of that resonated, it's all good. Just let's move on to the tarot. What's going on? What's the T with group two's relationship? What's the T in group two's connection? We have an ace of swords. What's the T? What's the T? Okay, we have a Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. Mm, what's the T? Oh my gosh, ooh. Ten of Swords, mm. Oh, we have this Ten of Cups here. The bottom of the deck. Ooh. I'm, I don't know. Something about this seems off. Can we clarify? I'm going to clarify these first and then I'll speak. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Just one card, please. Okay. We have three of cups. Mmm. The star. Mmm. So what's confusing me here is this Ten of Cups because it's not really coming off how I usually interpret it or it's not really coming off in a usual way at all. It's coming off as a network, right? A network, um, uh, an exchange, right? Different exchanges. Um, exchanging with a lot of different people um, behind your back. I definitely feel like somebody was doing something behind somebody's back. Um, with this Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups, the T on your relationship is that somebody um, is not fulfilled in this connection or both of you are not fulfilled in this connection. And um, there is a need to express that here right there is a need to express 
there's exp there's a need to express that one or both of you is ready to date other people and wants to date other people. For some of you in this group, your person has already you or your person has already begun to date other people outside the connection and somebody found out about this um and it's changed the dynamic of the connection i'm also seeing that for some of you um for some for some of your connections whoever has cheated has cheated more than once or both of you have cheated before this point in time but it's kind of like this need to there's this need to for both of you to express that you don't really want to be in this connection that you want to be with other people right the star and the seven of cups the t is that you both one or both of you is thinking about dating other people often constantly with this star here underneath the seven of cups to me this is like this is a constant daydreaming wishing maybe even dabbling around on on sites like tinder and bumble just con conversing with people but it's like dipping your toe in but not really outright dating other people or talking to other people but it's like yes this is this energy of like you can't help it at this point or you can't hold back at this point because this is how you really feel you know what i mean um is that you want to be you want to date other people you can't hide it you know what i'm saying like Give me one second. Let me grab something. Oh, I didn't even have to go far. Sorry, guys. I was looking for something because I spilled my coffee. All right, so it's kind of one of those things where once you want to be single, it's really hard to hide, even from yourself, because you'll start, without even thinking about it, you'll start acting like you're single. Trust me, it's a, you know what I'm saying? And you have to, you know, a disciplined person will catch themselves, but some people aren't disciplined at all. But literally, like, once you're ready to be single... You start talking about other to other people. You start thinking about talking to other people. You start wishing you could talk to other people. You see somebody, you're like, mm, damn, I can't talk to that person, you know. And that's what this energy is. That's what this energy is to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what this energy is to me. This is somebody constantly thinking, and you know, somebody ready to date other people period point blank now with this ten of swords and then this ten of wands to me this is kind of like beating a dead horse something it's like something's already dead but the ten of wands is like both of you are kind of keeping it animated right with this the magician here okay um yeah i'm getting like mad scientist energy like both of you are working very very hard to keep the body moving right to keep this relationship going to keep whatever this is y'all are working very very hard um to to make something like this stay alive but in reality i'm getting it's not natural it's no longer natural at this point it is animated um it is a frankenstein's creature type situation and now that i'm looking at this ten of cups again after going through all that i feel like this ten of cups is network this is about family, right? This could be somebody you're married to or you have kids with or whatever, but it's like that's what's keeping you together, this family, this network of emotions, this network of, of opinions, people. There are, there must be pe a lot of different people in your business. I'm get, definitely getting. But I do feel like especially... I'm getting this energy of somebody who, of two people, of the reality of this connection is that it just, it's over and done with. The, the relationship's over. Oh, sorry, I did not set a timer, so I'm trying to make sure. 
Because if I don't set a timer, believe it or not, the camera would have stopped recording after a certain amount of time. So I have to set a timer. <clears throat> but yeah, and I feel like, I feel like over here, right, with these chunks and these pieces, right, this carnelian head, it looks like somebody just took a big, big fat chunk out of a nice juicy Starbuck, Starburst, you know what I'm saying? And then even with the seashell, this big chunk here. And so I feel like for a lot of you, your person or you have cheated before or have had some type of dis dishonesty, um, discrepancy or whatever before. And so it's like, you guys are keeping this alive, but I'm seeing that there's no trust here. You guys have lost trust for each other. Um, you guys don't see each other the same at all. Right. Like I'm seeing two people like you guys don't see each other the same. You don't see eye to eye. You don't see the relationship the same. It's really like whatever happened between you throughout time, throughout the, the duration of you guys being together. It has really shaped a perspective of each other and of this connection that. It's like it can't be unseen. Right. It can't be undone. Um and it's like you both are kind of just keeping up with this because you feel like you have to, even though you really don't want to, even though you're not happy, even though you know that you both are not compatible and that somebody's cheated. Somebody's cheated and somebody is continuing to cheat and they're going to cheat again and again and again. And it's, yes, it's wrong, but the reality is that they don't want to be in this relationship. So it's like, what are you going to do about that? You know what I'm saying? So let's get some more cards, group two. Mm. Delicioso. Can I get some more messages? The tea about group Two's relationship. Oh, we have this is the Empress. Mm, Y'all have kids together for sure. Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. Y'all just want to date other people. It's just so obvious. Because <clears throat> the thing is, I'm not getting too many signifiers about who is who. Now, this Empress here, all that's letting me know is that if you're a woman... You probably are a mother to some kids with this person, or they're just kids involved. Uh, and then we have the tower here. So, or at least I think that's the tower. <sighs> seven of cups twice. Seven of cups twice. Mm. Yeah, so... It's just reinforcing a lot of what I said. This empress here, like I was just saying indicates to me that this is really about I feel like for a lot of you this is a marriage and if it's not a marriage then it's just that you guys have kids between you and that's why it's so difficult to let this go um maybe you found out that somebody got somebody else pregnant or um somebody is about to have a baby with somebody else behind your back Maybe you could have found out that. Or maybe you found out you're pregnant again. And some of you may find out that you're pregnant again. And it's really going to... I see some of you having to make that tough... Have, have that tough conversation about not wanting it. But it's like you don't want it because you don't really want to be in this connection anymore. Right? It's, it's a lot going on. This is a big group to me. This is probably a big group. Um, then we have the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. I mean, at the bottom of the deck. My bad. Underneath this star. And like I said, this whole column to me is really just about 
wanting endangerment and thinking about dating somebody new, right? Just being ready to date somebody new. I'm getting ants in the pants. I said that in the last group too, ants in the pants. But this is ants in the pants energy too. It's like I'm ready to date somebody else new. I'm ready to date new people. I'm ready to date new people. Um, and just like being agitated, probably irritable um, in this connection because you're bored of it, you're tired of it, you're ready for the new thing. Um, and then we have Seven of Cups again right here underneath the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. It's like you're putting in this work, making this dead thing walk, but at the same time, behind each other's backs, you're in DMs, on Tinder, on Hinge, talking to other people, this time the third, but it's because you feel like your home life is at stake, your stability is at stake. But this tower to me lets me know that this tower, this whatever this is that you have, it has to crumble eventually, right? So either you do it or time will do it. The divine will do it, right? Because it has to come down. It's not built on there. Whatever was there before, it's not there now. And um, essentially, I'm seeing that it's just not sustainable anyhow. So you both can keep keep up the charade if you want for as long as you want but eventually something's going to come through and it's going to knock down this tower because I mean sometimes you just it's time for it to be over and done with but I do see for a lot of you it's it's that you do is that you have kids involved or marriage involved and it's just not as simple you know there's family involved it's not as simple but either way Y'all are seeing, y'all are ready for something else. But y'all are, it's like y'all are scared for the tower to crumble. It's like you feel like if that tower crumbles or if this, if whatever the structure is, if it's dismantled, it's like you feel like you won't have enough anymore. You won't have the same or things won't be better or you won't. Yeah, it's like you're scared of the unknown future. And so you're holding on to this thing that doesn't make you happy. Because you've invested so much in it. What's the overall advice for group two, Spirit? Uh-oh. What's the overall advice for group two? Okay. Let's go with this one. Complication. complication generosity also wanted to come out hmm. so seeing these two complication and generosity to me this is all about accepting when you need help okay I feel like with a portion of you you're dealing with this on your own or you're trying to deal with this on your own or you're not really accepting help when help is offered whether that is um help via actions like somebody offering to do something for you or advice it's like you're not really some of you are just not really willing to accept advice especially if you didn't ask for it i'm hearing but it's like, things are really complicated for you right now, okay? Things are complicated for you right now. And you see in this image, somebody else, you know, I guess either they can't do whatever up here, so somebody else comes and does it for them, you know? It's like accepting that when things are complicated, you have to re-strategize or you have to rethink. And you're going to need to ask for help. And generosity is about being receptive to that help over here, Um I feel like for some of you, in regards to this person, you maybe don't like the advice people give you because it doesn't give you the outcome you want. You might not be receptive to people's opinions because you just, there's maybe some pride wrapped up in this. But yeah, your overall advice is one to recognize when you can't handle things on your own or recognize when you may need 
outside um, opinion and also just be receptive to that help. Um, you know, you can't really do everything on your own. You can't figure everything out on your own, okay? So that's all I have for you today, group two. I really hope this resonated. If it did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment, and if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Last but not least, I am open for private readings. If you would like to book a reading with me, the link for that is in the description box. All of my readings are delivered to your email within 72 hours, so go and check that out if you're interested in getting a reading. I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. I am super excited to get right into it. <clears throat> we are first going to channel some messages about your connection with my seashells, okay? I just wanna say group three, today has been a strange day. I've been, my energy is all over the place. I'm currently not feeling well. So if you guys could <clears throat> give me some positive vibes, that'd be super awesome. Keep me in your thoughts. Um, but I'm not feeling well, so my energy's been all over the place. And I've had to take naps. I've had to, like, things have just been taking a lot longer to do than I want. But anyway, we're going to start and channel with the seashells. is the one interesting so already with this shell I'm getting something fragile um, something um, new probably so this connection for you those of you in this group maybe you haven't known each other that long maybe you have just got you have literally just met and you maybe only have one date um, but this is definitely like it's something very hollow, very shallow even, I would say. Maybe you're right now you're dealing with just the initial attraction. Maybe you both just look good to each other. Because um, I'm also looking at this crystal here, how it's shiny, right? I don't even know what it is, but it's shiny. That's what I know. And so I'm feeling like that's where you, you and your person are right now is like, all you know is that you look good, but it's not really rooted in anything. It's, <laughs> there's still a lot that needs to be built up into this connection. So let's get into the tarot. Mm. What's the tea? about group three's connection. What's the T on group three's connection? Okay, we have four of swords. Mm. Five of swords. And the Hierophant, ooh, interesting. And then we have a knight of swords here. Mmm. Hmm. I'm hearing somebody avoiding something, right? Somebody's avoiding some type of confrontation. Um, something needs to be addressed here. Somebody is trying not to have an argument, or they're trying to they're trying to avoid a tough conversation. They could be not answering their phone, pretending to be asleep, not answering text messages, 
Yeah, it's like they're dodging. They're dodging this conversation. They are coming off pretty immature with this Knight of Swords. This could be you that's avoiding this. It could be you that's avoiding it. Or you that's coming in trying to have it with them. They feel like it's not the right time. So, or, or something about the timing is a little off with this. It could be because it's the holiday season. Maybe something came up around Christmas. And somebody just feels like they don't want to deal with it right now. During the holidays. I'm also hearing somebody having issues around traveling. Maybe somebody has to travel, but somebody doesn't want them to. Maybe somebody needs to travel, but they can't. They have to stay stuck in one place. Oh, let's clarify. Okay. Let's clarify. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. Okay, we have, what is this? Five of Cups. Mm. A Knight of Coins. Mm. Yeah, maybe with work. Maybe somebody has to travel for work. Maybe somebody can't keep a promise here. two cards so let's just go with this so we have a three of cups and we have the ace of cups mm. and the star okay hmm. sorry guys my sciences are acting up but what I'm getting here is I'm getting a lot of narratives coming through but it seems like a main narrative here is that there's somebody who is not really ready to commit, right, to something, right? It could be the relationship or it has to do with them being in one place. Like they can't really commit to being stationary, right? Um, but I see for a lot of you, regardless if, it had, if a job is involved or not, it's affecting the relationship, right? It's affecting you guys' ability to un to unify completely. I feel like over the holidays, somebody may have tried to have a serious conversation about this connection um, or something like that, or they found out something, um, or somebody assumes that somebody is wanting to have some serious conversations about this relationship. And so as a result, there's like this avoidance happening here <clears throat> where somebody's like, they're not trying to have this conversation. They're trying to avoid this. Or it's like they're either trying to avoid having this conversation or they had to shut things down or they had to hurt somebody's feelings. And so they're kind of avoiding um, the situation as a whole. They're trying to not think about it. Uh, I do feel like some of you could have been told already that 
Like, either you or this person, I feel like somebody has already been told that the other person just wants to wait. They are not ready to commit to anything quite yet. Um, they might feel like things are too new or too fresh or there's still things going on behind the scenes that puts them in this place where they feel like they're just not in a position to commit. And I feel like the other person got really hurt or they're hurt that this person is avoiding this conversation. Um, I, with this Knight of Swords, I see... <laughs> I see both of you, I see one person wanting to move the relationship further quickly and then I have like very urgently and then I see another person running away from this because they just don't feel like they have the time or they don't want to make the time. The star here lets me know it's like, and not to be rude if you're the person wanting to have this conversation, but with the star I feel like this other person it's just not like that's it's just not their priority right now like i'm seeing somebody who's dating and they're having a good time and they're trying to have connections but their priority is not a committed relationship and i don't see them in a position to be able to do that oh gosh i'm sorry guys i do see that this person could work in tech or some type of communication um heavy type of industry um they have to move around a lot or they have a lot of projects this is somebody constantly busy and so it's like i'm seeing them kind of fall behind work and like i've seen them like use work as a way to like justify not spending enough time with you pretty much but yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's like... It's like they're just not... It's like they know they can't make you happy right now. With Yeah, it's like they know that you're not happy right now with their decision. But they are doing what they feel is best for them. And they are just not ready for that one person right now. I'm saying with this Ace of Cups after this Three of Cups. It's like right now they have time for this. And one day they'll get to this Ace of Cups, but just not now. It's like that's later. That's They're not prioritizing that. I'm trying to see if I get more. Yeah, I'm seeing you sent a text maybe in the middle of the night, some of you. You sent a text in the middle of the night and they either didn't respond or they responded in a way that was just unexpected and it hurt your feelings, I feel like. Okay, we're getting more tea. I have the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. No, Ace of Swords, I mean. I thought I was looking at wands over here, but there's a sword here. Ooh. Page of Cups. I'm seeing an apology here for sure. have a knight of wands and we also have a four of cups here Ooh, yeah so it, it really is just like a it's not you it's me type of deal like this person who is just not ready to commit they are just like look this is where i'm at in my life i'm not nothing it's like it's not about you but i personally have not reached my satisfaction i have not achieved the things i want to achieve 
I am not fulfilled. I'm not ready to stop moving. And it's just, it's not personal, right? That's what I'm getting this vibe from them. Like, it's very um, grounded. They could be an earth sign or your earth sign, but it's like, they're kind of just being very logical and straightforward and reasonable. Like, they're saying, like, you know, maybe this situation started off as a fling. Maybe it started off as just, like, you guys talking or it was a hookup or something like that. And it wasn't really made or meant to progress into something more. But I feel like one person obviously um, caught feelings or started to see the potential and the other person is just like, I'm a hot boy, I'm a hot girl, and I appreciate what you're doing, and I appreciate you and blah, 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 but I'm not, you know, I'm not here to have a, have a committed relationship with you, right? This person is still interested in, it's like, the options they have, they feel like are just not worth settling down for, and it doesn't necessarily have to be with love it's just that when they look around at their life they are not satisfied enough with where it is to to prioritize a committed relationship um and especially not and this is no offense to you but especially not when it's with somebody that you you only have lukewarm feelings about it seems you know it's not like this person is just so 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 into you and they're denying they're denying it because they have to work. You know, it's really just that they like you, but they don't like you enough or they don't like the connection enough to overly prioritize it when they have so much other that, other stuff that they're trying to build right now. It's not their main priority. When I see this Ace of Swords here underneath the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups, I feel like some communication came in that basically... Whereas you, you or them put this in perspective and put it out there. It was just like, look, we can't be together, right? The communication might have been harsh. Or with the Four of Swords, I'm seeing that it was probably something that somebody didn't want to hear. They didn't want to hear it, right? I also feel like it could have been unexpected. And I do feel like it could have been a nighttime text. I feel like... Uh, for some of you, it definitely had to do with the holidays and somebody maybe wanted to spend time with someone for the holidays or something and some type of rude awakening occurred where you realize or you or this person realized that it's actually not going to be a serious relationship. Um, and I see with this page of cups, it's kind of like a consolation, like, I'm sorry, right? Like, I like you, I do. But, you know, this is just how it is. And this, this page of cups is like an apology. It's an olive branch because it's not really about you or them. You know, it's just about where you both are at the moment. And they're not, they're not at the place where you would need them to be for them to even consider this. You know, and vice versa if it's actually you that doesn't want a connection. But the six of swords, right? We're talking about the T of this connection. What's the T? The T, right? is that, and I feel like you know this, right? You know this, the reality. Uh, the T is that you both just need to move on from each other. And, you know, whatever you had, it was a season. Is essentially what I'm getting. It was a season. It was not meant to last. You got what you got out of it. And it's time to just um, get in your boat and sail to the next destination uh and i'm looking at the star again to say like there's more whatever you wanted from this person or whatever you thought this person had that you wanted the stars let you know that and the star to me is a confirmation that those things that you are noticing those things that you liked in that person that is you recognizing what you want in a person and so take that into consideration and just know that you can find those traits in other people, okay? You know, every relationship is a learning opportunity to learn what you like and dislike, right? So whatever it was that had you fixated on this person, um, just file that away in your notes and understand that that is you recognizing pieces of 
who you are supposed to be with as you go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just know that you have awesome, amazing, better stuff coming in the form of another person. But let's get some car, a card for your overall advice in regards to this connection. Can I get one card for overall advice, please, spirit? Damn. Ooh, and those flipped over too. Sheet. So we have a conversation and we have choice. All right. So your conversation, ooh, the divine. That's what I have to say because I was like, I don't really see how there's more conversation to be had between you and this person if if they sh if they shut shit down or you shut shit down but this conversation i do see it has to do with yourself right and i feel like for a lot of you i feel like for some of you in this group you're the person who's not committal and i feel for many of you you're the person who wants this relationship to progress but i do see that for both of you you're being asked to uh to have an honest conversation with yourself about what it is that you really want. And I'm going to touch it on both sides, right? You need to touch, you need to have an honest conversation with yourself about what it is you're really seeking. And then you need to discern if you're making the correct choices to lead you there, right? What choices are you making and how are they conducive to the overall goal? And also just keep in mind, you do have choices. So like if you're the person that wants this fling to progress into something else and it's not happening and you're upset you need to ask yourself like why why do you want somebody to like you that doesn't like you right why do you need this person to like you when they don't like you or they don't want to be with you right why do you need them to want to be with you why do you need to stick around why do you feel like you need to be here when the, when you can literally choose to go and love someone else or just not love that person you can love yourself when there are so many options there are so many paths why do you feel like you need to be here okay that's for my peeps that um that are essentially like holding out for this person now if you're the person who does not want to commit and you're you had to break this break somebody else's heart and you had to you know shut it down your question i'm hearing is why do you why are you if you're so unable to have a committed relationship why are you getting involved with people right and with this four of cups you could be getting involved with multiple people if you're not interested in a committed relationship, why get involved with multiple people only to have to break their heart or just, you know, continue these cycles of having stupid conversations and all of that? Like if you're if you're so busy, if you're so focused on whatever, then why do you have time to essentially string people along? You know what I mean? Because having a one night stand or having a little booty call that you hit up every like twice a month or so is very different than like it, get than getting to know somebody, liking somebody, spending time with them, rolling around the sheets with them multiple times a week in a short amount of time, and then telling them like, "Oh, I don't want anything," because at that point you're kind of just playing. You know, so, and I'm not saying all of you are doing that, but I'm just saying, think about it that way. Like, do you want companionship or not, right? And if you don't want companionship, then you should move that way, right? Choices. You should move like you don't want companionship. Don't be super consistent with people. Be very upfront. Don't let the lines blur between friend and fuck. Like, this is be real. Um, but if you realize that, oh, you do want companionship, you just don't know how to make time or prioritize it, then the choices still come in. What are you doing? What can you do to make time? What are you not doing, right? Not having time is always an option, right? Because we make time. 
So like, if you have a lot to do, then it comes down to prioritizing. How are you prioritizing your responsibilities and obligations? What are you doing to make it so that you can get what you want? Or are you just falling behind these excuses of I can't and I won't and I shouldn't, but then you're still, you know, slinging dick. Just being honest, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you don't have to be a dude or have a penis, but you, you get what I'm, what I'm saying, metaphor-wise. But anyway, that's the T for group three, um, which I think really resonates because, like I said, with these two items, like, this shell feels like if I just crushed my hand, it would like a like a chip, you know what I'm saying? And then with this... It's just shiny and sparkly. I don't know what it is. It's shiny and sparkly. So both those things to me uh, point to a lack of depth, a lack of foundation, of uh, solidity, structure, right? A lack of definition. It's shallow. It's rooted in, uh, it's, it's just the most shallow aspects of materialism is what's happening here. Two people who... Um, connected physically probably and sexually and not really being honest with themselves about what they want and why and kind of just from what I see this looks like the beginning but for many of you it might not be the beginning but it's like the beginning of just a toxic cycle of overgiving and being brushed off and somebody taking you know, somebody taking whatever you give them and eat, you know, having their cake and eat it too while the other person is like wondering and worried and, and sad and, you know, so I just want to cut that out and just put.